How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about right here USB redirector and this is the technician edition. It's very important that you install this edition because it's just going to work well when you're dealing with customers and trying to do USB redirector. So this is nice. It'll do remote servicing of USB devices which is what we're doing because we're working on Android phones. So this is pretty sweet. Um, let me go ahead and, and talk to you about this. So basically um, you're going to come over here to this site and you can download the trial version or you can purchase it. Um, it does obviously cost money. The trial version you have for 15 days. So I recommend clicking here and downloading the trial version um, to your computer so you can follow along in this install. It's very easy to do and we can use it for 15 days just to check it out. And if you don't like it, no big deal. If you do, purchase the license and you'll be able to use it as much as you like. Okay. That being said, I'm gonna, I've already got mine downloaded, so I'm going to open up my folder here, go to Downloads, and right here is USB Redirector, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Copy. And what I've done is I've gone into my Phone Lab Repair Files here, and uh, we'll just open these up. And I've created a USB Redirector folder, and I have some other versions in here I was playing around with, but here is the uh, file. I basically, you know, you could paste it in here, which is what I've done. So I went ahead and extracted it um, with 7-zip. These are the files. Once it's extracted, I threw it in this folder just to manage it. And then um, you're not going to actually see this. And I'm going I'm to delete this because I'm going to show you where you're going to get that. So basically, you have the 32-bit and the 64-bit uh, setup files. I have a 64-bit machine. I recommend trying to install this first. If it gives you an error, then um, you know try to install the 32-bit. So we're going to go ahead and do 64-bit hit yes to install and go ahead and hit next accept this is really easy you're basically just clicking through I mean most people have seen an install um, and how it functions so really 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 simple to install um, once you get this installed I just want to go over a couple quick things about the utility so we're gonna say um, don't open the quick launch page or this either we're gonna say finish all right so I'm just gonna stick this up here so we've got it where we want it on our computer. And then let me go ahead and show you guys where the customer module is and basically what you need to do with that. So let's go to the, see here, my computer, C drive, program files, USB redirector, techni technician edition. And then right here you can see customer module, okay? There is the customer module. Once you install it, it comes with the EXE. So we're going to go ahead and um, I'm just going to copy it. I'll leave the original there and just back out to my USB redirector and um, we'll just paste. Well, actually, we're going to go into the technician edition and paste it in. All right. Now, this is the cool thing about the customer module. So you have it right here. But if you want to change this, there's no reason to call it USB redirector customer module. We don't have to call it that, right? We could rename it to, you know, let's just try phone lab right or whatever your business is customer module um, and then that way it just kind of brands and links the customer module to you so I think that's pretty cool so basically what you're doing with the customer module is you're gonna have to get this to the customer whether you give them a link to download it uh, the module you host it somewhere um, or you email it to them if it's small enough I don't know what the property size is of it but you need to get it away so they can install and run it. Yeah, so you could email this very easily. Uh, just email it. It's less than two megabytes, so no big deal. Um, and then they can run it on their computer. So that is the customer module. And uh, we're going to go over on how to use these two things. But now that we've got things installed and ready to rock and roll, we'll make a video on that. But to really get this to work remotely across the Internet, you're going to have to do some things. And one of the things you're going to have to do, here's a trial thing I just want to show it to you. So I have 14 days left because I already had it and done. So continue evaluation. And here you go. So th this is basically the interface. And nothing even comes up here until a customer uses the customer module to connect their computer to yours. Um, but one of the things you're going to need to do, like I said, to get that functioning is you're going to have to do some port forwarding through your router. Um, it c might work without doing the port forwarding. But just to be sure, you should definitely check out the next video here in this process. And after you get port forwarding done, we're going to do another video on how to actually use this and do a remote repair to another computer. So it should be pretty cool. And you can see how USB Director fully works when we do that video. 
But that's going to wrap it up for this one. That's how to install it and get the customer module. Do a quick rename and make it your customer module. Hope you guys liked the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out.